We're gonna head out to the live eye. You getting ready for Halloween here? Oh yeah. If you're looking for the perfect place to go and get some decorations to spook up your home, Greg Harper is in North Vancouver today. And a bit of a disclaimer here, Greg, this is a little bit on the freaky side this morning. Yeah, if you scare easy, be prepared for this one here this morning. We are here at Thomas FX in North Vancouver, boys. If you're looking for some inspiration, that item that perhaps will set your place over the top, well, you're probably gonna find it here. There's some amazing animatronics. I've already, check out this. <laughs> I personally don't like that. We're gonna uh, investigate all of the items here. A lot of people in the movie industry are, are buying this stuff, but you can too. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. They just keep rocking and rocking and rocking. Lots coming up from Thomas FX, Michelle. Yeah, those rocking chair people scare me. All right, you be careful in there, Greg. Greg, let's go to Greg. Let's go to Greg. Don't forget about me, Don. Yeah, and if you scare easy, be prepared here. All right, here we are at Thomas FX in North Vancouver. If you're throwing a Halloween party this year, if you really like to deck your place out over Halloween, you're gonna love this one. Some serious, this thing move? No, okay. This does, though. Some serious animatronics here. We're gonna talk about some of the items here that are very cool. Some items that perhaps uh, you could grab for your place. That's coming up next, Mark. All right, thank you very much, Greg Harper. Scary stuff. Uh, we're hey. going to head over to North Vancouver, though. That's where Greg Harper is with the Live Eye this morning, getting some cool ideas on how to decorate your house for Halloween, but really taking it to the next level in terms of the scare factor, Greg. <laughs> you can say that again, taking it to the next level. If you scare easy, be prepared here. How about a waterfall like that in your front yard? That would make uh, trick or treaters think twice. We are here at Thomas FX in North Vancouver. This is the CEO, John Kui. Good morning, morning sir. Greg. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm just, uh, I'm so impressed with all the items. That would scare me, that would scare me. Okay. That was our cameraman, Brian, setting that off. How does that work, this barrel here? It just has a little pneumatic shaker and a ram system in the bottom that makes it jump off the ground. Okay, that was the step right there. Exactly. There's another one right here. <laughs> That's scary as well, so this works the same way. Exactly, the trip sets it off and then the rest is just fun. You've got so many spooky props in here and I know it's you and your wife that where do you find the stuff from? We travel over 100,000 miles a year. We circle the globe five times looking for the best Halloween props in the world, and we bring them all right here to the North Shore. We have ourselves a, a cauldron here as well. Brand new this year, the Flaming Cauldron. What's the connection with you and the Olympics? Most of the stores and venues that were showing Olympic snow this year all that snow came from Thomas Effects. Can you make it snow in here? Yes, I can. Well, we're gonna see that later on. Okay. Looking forward to that. What about the connection? This is this was interesting. The US Navy SEALs, what's your connection with them? The US Navy SEALs use blood from Thomas Effects in their training sessions. Turns out they own their own uniforms, and when they're simulating battlefield conditions, there's lots of blood, and they don't want to stain their uniforms. Interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna check out some more of these uh, items as we take a walk here. Some serious animatronics, Kyle. Things popping out, things making noises. <laughs> I am on edge this morning. It's not just because of the coffee I had. I'll I am say, on the, edge the right thing now. I like about where you are, Greg, is if you take some of those to your house, I mean, you'll end up with more candy at the end of the night, probably because you'll scare all the trick-or-treaters away. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. You know what I'm talking about? Thanks, Greg. Let's see you just in a couple of minutes here. Halloween uh, props. Do you want to take your Halloween decorating to the next level? Well, we're at the right place for that. Thomas FX in North Vancouver. Our tour here continues. I'm 11 now, and just a little warning. We're coming up to Halloween. We check in with Greg Harper. It could get a little bit scary. Just saying, right, Greg? A little bit scary? Really scary, yeah, Michelle. You know what, I was always impressed as a kid going uh, trick-or-treating and going to a place that was just decked right out. Do you want to deck your place out for this Halloween season? Well, we're at the right place for that. You won't believe some of the items here at Thomas FX in North Vancouver. Some of the animatronics here. We're gonna investigate that coming up. You're watching BT, stay with us. Happy Halloween. Team now on a Friday morning and a warning. As Greg Harper walks through this place, there is some scary stuff. Yes, there is, Mark. Yeah, here at Thomas FX in North Vancouver. John Quee here taking us through a tour. I'm going to turn this on. It's not real, 
but it's pretty impressive. It looks real. Okay, let's back up over here. Okay. That is scary. If somebody had that on their in their front yard while you're coming there trick-or-treating, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'd get any candy from that place. That's very impressive. I, I am reacting to being in here this morning. What's the reaction of people that come through here and see all these animatronics? I think most people are in awe. They get great decorating ideas for their homes. They bring their kids back year after year after year, and it's kind of fun watching all the kids grow up with these families. I'm in awe. I'm normally somebody that has no problem talking, but I'm staring at this stuff. I'm just like, this here this morning. Let's walk over here. This is a little scary as well. This is animatronics as well, too. So you're going to turn it on. Don't get scared. Again, this isn't real. Be prepared. Here we go. She's talking. She's not crazy. My goodness. My goodness. Relax. Relax. It's going to be OK. having a bad morning that's that's very impressive and both that and the the gentleman in the electric chair are like forty five hundred dollars right they are they're wonderful class a animatronic pieces you designed what we see right here how'd you do that what, what's this made out of uh, these are latex and fabric props it took us months uh, with factories in Asia back and forth internet trips to Asia but we're very proud of the outcome. This is a horned vampire fiend with flashing eyes. It's very impressive. Okay, the people in the movie industry, you're very popular with them. He's gonna make it snow here coming up, gentlemen. Also, we're gonna talk about uh, some serious makeup effects. They actually have a vampire fangs here that retract. Ooh. Unbelievable. Yeah, it's spooky. Indeed. Thanks, Greg. Very we'll see scary. You in a bit. Hey, when you go to haunted houses. Dinner in Vancouver, Greg Arbor's at the lab. I get a little bit scary today, Greg, though. A little bit on the scary side this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, Hope. You know what? It won't be snowing in Jamaica. Again, congrats. It is snowing here right now inside of Thomas FX in North Vancouver. Man, they've got some serious scary props here, some animatronics. Can you imagine this in your front yard? I just can't get over this. Ooh. All right. We're going to take a break, though, from Halloween for a second here because this place is very popular with people in the movie industry. Okay, cool. They just keep rocking. All right. This place, very popular with people in the movie industry. John joins us here from Thomas FX. We got some fake snow out there. We got some fake snow in here. How do you make this stuff? We manufacture it here in North Vancouver out of basically starch. It's biodegradable. It's the safest, friendliest snow in the world. Very cool. And what's this isn't fake snow, is it? This is volcanic ash that we made for a movie called 2012. Our own Mark Darkey was in 2012. Yes, indeed. Yes. This is the volcanic ash we made for Martin Scorsese on Shutter Island. How much of this stuff do you make? Tons, a year, tons, let's say. Tons and tons and tons and tons. We have a 53-foot trailer of snow leaving today for Alberta for a Ceneva commercial. Very nice, very nice. This is a football made out of wood. What's the deal with this? This is the football that we fired during the making of Superman 1. With Christopher Reeve. With Christopher Reeve, yes. A real football would have been shredded, so we made this one out of wood. That's and cool. This is the that's knife. A, that's that, a knife. This is a knife that we made for Rambo First Blood. Filmed in Hope. Yes. And Hope on the trip to Jamaica. This is getting very bizarre. <laughs> so I think this is really fitting for your character. It is. Should I do a little uh, Sylvester Stallone right now? Is that what you're saying? Hint, hint. Hey, check it out here. Okay, Michelle, let's see what I can do here. I'm, I'm feeling it. Stallone, Stallone, first blood. Okay, uh, here we go. You want a war? I'll give you a war you won't believe. They do first blood, not me, Michelle. It would have been fine if it wasn't for that cop. There we go. Great. There's my still haven't done that in a while. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be getting requests for yeah. that all the time now. All right, Greg. Awesome. Nicely done. Thank you very much. Always wanted to know how they make that fake snow. Wow, he's good.